TV6's Kyle Keel is back outside now with more on the Cops and Kids program that we're supporting. Uh, Kyle, how's it been going out there? Things have been pretty good, Morgan. There's been a steady flow of people bringing new and slightly used bugs, gently used bugs here to the TV6 studio for the Cops and Kids program. Uh, this is a program, as Morgan said, that promotes literacy in children as well as a positive interaction with police. And really, we're making it very easy for you. Through 6 o'clock, you can bring your uh, new or gently used books to our station at 805 Brady Street. Uh, what the Lincoln Center and the police will do is take your books, put them in a box, and then two men in a truck will take those boxes away and take it to the Lincoln Center where these books will then be donated here throughout the year to not only the police department, but uh, you guys at the Lincoln Center will be using it as well. This is Tracy Singleton. She's executive director at the Lincoln Center, and you kind of helped organize Cops and Kids last year. How did last year's event go for you? Oh, last year's event went really well. It really set the bar for what we weren't expecting from the community in relation to what we actually got for the community. And we're seeing more of that today. Um, people are coming through. Um, I just checked the Amazon wish list. People are buying books and they're donating as well. So this is really an impactful thing that doesn't take a whole lot to, to really make a change. And, you know, we were just talking about some of the books going to the police officers so they can take when they're out in the community. But a lot of these books are going to be donated to your library that you're having. Talk about that free children's library. We are so excited about this library. Last year at this time when we had all these books, one of the board members said, hey, we should create a library here. And so we identified a room. We started working on it. We got the funds we needed to get that room set up. And so at the end of July, we'll have a free library in the school where parents can just come. And it's, a, it's not a checkout. You take the book home and start building up your own library in your home. And this is all free for the children in the community. Thanks so much, Tracy. Again, we'll be out here until 6 o'clock uh, collecting your book donations. Morgan, back to you. All right, Kyle, thank you.